I was just about to enjoy the newspaper. You see, it makes a wonderful cushion when I sit down to read the news on my phone. But seriously, newspapers are great for kindling. And they have very, very interesting articles of clothing that you can make with them, like this hat. Isn't it cute? Heather speaking. Can I have your six-digit reference number, please? This is Heather. She is 39 years, 364 days old. She works in a call centre. At lunchtime, Heather starts the day's crossword. Each day, she is left to sit alone in the same seat, eating the same sandwich. She finishes work at 7 p.m. and gets home by train. There is one train at 6.55 and another at 7.45. Heather's team leader insists that she stay until 7. Heather kills the time here. The usual. Thanks, John. Any news for me at all? No news today, John. One of these days, love. This is Joan. A 58-year-old widow who serves Heather the same dish, at the same seat, at the same time. Joan is often the only real person she speaks to all day. I never understand the attraction of those things. Sorry? They're crosswords of yours. <sighs> Passes the time, I suppose. Why does everybody want to pass the time? We've only got so much of it. How's she shaping up today? Today? Today's a strange one. The answers just seem to be around me. Will you keep at it? When Heather was seven years old, her father told her that life was just like a crossword. Where lines meet and paths converge, it is no coincidence. It is part of a greater plan. One week from now, her father will die suddenly. It is only then that Heather will try her first crossword. By the time Heather makes her way home, the station is usually quiet. Heather has always liked it this way. It allows her time to think. For this reason, she always looks for the emptiest carriage as the train pulls into the station. Heather lives alone. She spends her evenings watching television, but she does not tune in any stations. Instead, she watches tapes of her favorite films over and over again.
Once a week, she bakes gingerbread men, because after all, nobody does anymore. At night, Heather tries to get any remaining words in the day's crossword. Today, for reasons she can't quite understand, the world seems in perfect sync with the crossword. She is happy and excited. It is 12.06. She is 40 years of age. this I, I just I need some help Ash, what else am I good for yesterday when I said the crossword was strange well it's really strange it's like the answers are meant for me they're all around me so you have just one word left and I can't crack it I feel like I'm supposed to hit me with it then you see it there 34 across Lassie was told to go around it Lassie was told to go around it. Hang on, love. I'll be with you in a second. No. I haven't got the slightest clue. Sorry. straight to the newspaper offices to personally deliver her entry to the prize draw in the hopes that some kind person would give her her only birthday present. The crossword office. Where's the crossword office? But the crossword office is down the hall, but... Miss! Excuse me, miss! The leaves are slowly falling My love I This is Scott. He lives alone, except for his pet parrot. In eight years, Scott has taught it to say only one word, absolutely. Scott works as a journalist, and for the last four years, he has also set the daily crossword. Every day, Scott gets the 6.55 train. He has never missed it once, until last month. With his train gone, Scott had time to kill. On his first day in the crossword office, 
Scott was told that crosswords were like the world outside, where lines meet and paths converge. It is no coincidence, but part of a greater plan. Though Scott works with words, they never come easy to him. Scott wasn't used to the station being this quiet. The kind of quiet that makes a person think, once is coincidence, twice is part of a plan. So he decided to make his own. Scott has returned to the bar every day for the last month. He always believed in the value of good research, like any good journalist would. Though he always tried to make his early train, he would occasionally lose track of time. There was only one way he could speak to her. He would give her a birthday present. I'm Scott. Hi. I'm Heather. Would you like to get the train? Absolutely. I'm the Pope. I just poked my pants. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> 